In 2015, we opened the Young Adult Partial Program um, where we're working with patients ages 18 to 26 who are struggling with a variety of mental health issues. Um, and it became quickly apparent uh, that we have a need in the state of Rhode Island for more specialized care for young adults 18 to 26 in the LGBTQ plus communities. Um, so this is something we've been talking about for a long time. Um, we've heard a lot from patients that they would like to have something more specialized. Um, I think particularly because uh, there's such um, sort of fear of discrimination when people seek medical treatment anyways. And then if you add the LGBTQ plus um, scenario into that, it can be really challenging and sort of scary for people to seek treatment. We thought it'd be helpful to design a program that worked around the unique stressors that the individuals in the LGBTQ plus communities face. Um, so we spent a lot of time um, doing focus groups, speaking to other professionals, and doing research so that we could identify those issues and develop process groups around them. Patients would either self-refer or can be referred by a provider if they want from the community. Um, call our centralized intake line, uh, secure yourself a start date in the program. Um, the program runs from Monday through Thursday from 3.15 p.m. to 6.15 p.m. Um, components of the program would be an initial psychiatric evaluation um, with pretty in-depth treatment planning with the clinician, which will be Michaela, um, and then meeting with a psychiatrist in the beginning of the stay to assess whether or not there might be medication needs. Uh, then group therapy every single night for three hours at a time with an additional um, component of individual therapy once every two weeks also with Michaela. Um, and then we're really going to be harping a lot on connection to community resources. So if patients do come to us and they don't have um, active community providers, we'll be finding them the right fit and making sure that that's a smooth transition once they're leaving the program. Um, and if people do come already having providers, uh, the joy of having a Monday through Thursday program is that they can also continue to be connected with their outpatient provider while attending the program as well. So. The goal is to be connected, um, to develop connection within the communities, uh, to have a chance for um, validation through being with other individuals in the groups, um, to uh, understand that individuals are not alone in what they are going through, to receive support for their mental health needs and how to manage the symptoms of those. And then we also plan to connect individuals with resources in the community, as Erin mentioned, so that when they leave the program, if they are seeking to continue with individual therapy or medication management, we'll make sure they have those supports. I think there'll be um, an overlying sort of illness understanding component to the program. Um, although we're going to be working with individuals in the LGBTQ plus communities, um, it doesn't necessarily mean that someone has to be struggling with their identity in any way. They can be, and there'll be sort of pieces of the program that will help um, sort of foster that, um, the acceptance piece and sort of um, just being who you are.